Integration by use substitution or change of variable. Here's an idea here. This is really, really hard to kind of get our minds wrapped around. Uh, I wrote down a, a, this whole rule for us to look at in the last video, and I hope that you're, you've looked at that and that you're coming here from that video. It would be terrific for me. Uh, the, what I'm looking at is the anti-differentiation of composite functions rules. And uh, just to kind of make it easy, just... I'm asking you to buy this. I'm asking you to buy this as the chain rule in suggesting that if this is true, then we have big F of U plus C as a way to integrate. If you need to see this further, I just I'm saying to you that F prime at G of X times G prime at X is equal to Sorry, big F of G of X plus C. And I'm just working my way through these rules, and I'm trying to set myself up. The first thing that I'm doing as I look at this function, which is composite, is I notice here I'm kind of stuck. It's not like these are parentheses, and I can just multiply this X into it, right? This is, this square is a square root function times this function right here. So what I'm asking myself is this. I'm looking at this outside piece right here. I'm looking at this. And I'm just asking myself, is this the derivative of that? Or does it, is it some reasonable facsimile of it? And I think that it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let myself believe that this inside piece, this 4x squared plus 9, is the function. And based on that assumption right here, I'm just going to name that function u. And I'm going to say u is equal to 4x squared plus 9. I'm going to take du dx. I'm going to take du dx and start working my way through this a little bit. And so du dx is just 8x, isn't it? So, so I'm going to stop right here for a second. I'm just going to rewrite what I have here. And I have this. I have this x. Actually, I'm going to leave this for a second square root here, right? I'm just rewriting this function up here. 4x squared plus 9, but that's u, so u. And if you don't mind, instead of putting this x out in the front, I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to leave it with this dx. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change this close so you can see what I'm really trying to get at. x dx. This x right here is this one, and this dx is this one, and this is my function composite, right? So... What I would like very much to do is get this thing right here. I'd like to get x dx by itself. So x dx by itself. I'm going to multiply the whole thing by dx. And going to get du is equal to 8x dx. Remember, I'm trying to get a replacement piece for this. So I have most of it right here, don't I? So if you don't mind, I'm going to divide every, this by 8. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8. By 8. And if I do that, I'm going to get that du over 8 is equal to x dx. And let me go back. And let me go back and say this to you. du divided by 8 is x dx. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take that at its word, and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to take out this x dx. This will become clear in just a second, I hope, is du over 8. Everything is now in terms of d, everything now is in terms of u, isn't it? And also remember, if I get to here, and I'm about to, we're about to get to here. If we get to here, we can make a, some serious assumption here. We can, we can actually start to finish this. So this is what I would like you to see here that hopefully you can see the 1 8th here because I'm getting ready to factor that out. So here's the 1 8th. Can you see it? Here's the 1 8th. So I'm just going to pull, I'm going to factor out this 1 8th. I'm going to put it here, 1 8th. And then I'm going to do this and say definite integral, yes, of square root u d u. Look, we have this thing. This thing is really put away, isn't it? So, right? So we can now say that we have one eighth. 
if you don't mind, what I'm going to do here is this, because I'm going to start integrating in a second. U to the one half, right? One half is exactly the same, right? Right? One half is a rational exponent that represents this, doesn't it? Du. From here, I'm just going to integrate. I'm going to integrate here, so I'm going to take one eighth times the integral of this is u to the three halves, isn't it? U to the three halves over three halves. Remember that this is a complex fraction now, so this thing comes up as its reciprocal. So we get one eighth times not three halves, but two thirds, right? That's just arithmetic times u to the three halves, right? Plus c. And this gives us 2 24ths, so 1 12th, isn't that right? So equals 1 12th u to the 3 halves plus c is our solution. Um, gosh, you guys could have caught me on that one. I always forget to do this, so remember, please have to resubstitute at the end. I get so caught up in the fact that this is so simple that I forget to resubstitute. So 1 12th u, right, this is u, to the 3 halves plus c. Remember that we said early on that we set u, right, we set u equal to 4x squared plus 9. And here's our solution, all right? I'm going to do a bunch of videos. I'm not, I'm not going to do a bunch of videos. I'm going to do a couple of videos this weekend on this, but just using your TI Inspire cast. So hopefully you'll watch for those. And remember that if you are using your calculator, that you still have to show your calculus on the free response sections. So good work. I hope that you'll uh, take a second to like this video and that if you're not already subscribed that you will consider subscribing. Thanks and uh, good luck.